Kwasi 2020 Elective Mathematics Paper 2 Question 9a If B plus 1x squared plus 4bx plus 2b plus 3 is equal to 0 has equal roots find the integral value of b so we have this quadratic equation and if a quadratic equation has equal roots then it means the roots are equal in other words x1 is equal to x2 so when that happens we are saying that the equation has repeated roots so if you compare this to the general quadratic equation we have a which is the coefficient of x squared to be b plus 1 then b which is the coefficient of x is 4p and a constant term is c 2p plus 3 so because the root repeats or the roots are equal then the discriminant must be equal to zero the discriminant of the quadratic equation must be equal to zero so we fix in these values to get this now we need to expand so let's expand to get 16 p squared then now this and this will give us 2 p squared this and this will give you 3 p plus this and this 2 p so the two of them will give us 5 p then this and this will give us 3 now let's expand further to get this simplify the quadratic terms to get 8 p squared minus 20 p minus 12 is equal to zero what do we do next still we can reduce to get 2 p squared minus 5 p minus 3 is equal to zero now what we do next is that we factor this so you can split the middle term you know this and this will give you negative 6 and 1 and negative 6 will give us negative 6 and when we add them we get we get negative 5 so we can split the middle term and factor to obtain this now um, use the zero product principle which says that if two factors are multiplying to get zero then either this is zero or this is also zero so that will give us this and the next thing is to solve for p to get p is equal to 3 or p is equal to negative half but we come back to the question it says that we should look for the integral value of p so the value of p that is an integer is 3 therefore the integral value of p is 3 integral value means the one which is an integer so negative half is not an integer but 3 is an integer the b part of the question solve for x and y in the equations logarithm of x minus y plus 2 log y is equal to log 3 then log x plus log y is equal to log 6 let's name the equations so we name the equations to obtain something like this now over here you can see that the the power rule of logarithm can be applied here so it was y raised to the power 2 that was written like this and this one to it is log 3 exponent 2 that was written like this so what do we do mm. we go back one step to get something like this 
we don't have any problem with this so let's repeat it now we can simplify the right easily so this will give us mark 9 but on the left we need to apply the product rule so this and this must multiply this and this must also multiply because they are adding and we obtain that we obtain this we multiply this and this we get this and we multiply this and this we get this then we simplify the right hand side of this to get log 9 now we can take the anti logarithm of both sides and that will give us y squared into x minus 1 for the first equation is equal to 9 then the second equation we get x y is equal to 6 now we can proceed we can proceed and solve for x and y mm, so let's see how we can do that if we expand this we get this but we can rewrite this nicely because we can see that the product of x and y is a constant which is 6 so we can rewrite x y squared as x y times y so that we can substitute 6 whatever we see x times y and that will give us this result 6 y minus y squared is equal to 9 so we are repeating the same equation because it does not we have not done anything to it so we just substitute this into this and that gives us this result so the next thing we do now is to solve this equation and we rewrite it in standard form of the quadratic equation and we get y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 0 this is a very popular quadratic equation and you can easily see that it is when we expand y minus 3 squared that we get this you have been working with it all the time so this tells you that y is simply 3 if y is simply 3 then what must you multiply by 3 to get 6 that is 2 Therefore, x is equal to 2 and y is 3. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So, you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.